Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to one of my favorite all-time RPGs. One of the best gaming experiences that I ever had as a young man. This game, this game kind of woke me up to what storytelling could be like in a PC game, and very few games have even come close to approaching what this game was for me. Uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the original. We are playing a sort of, kind of, uh, modded version of it. We are playing just, the only thing we're using is a flawless widescreen. Uh, you're going to see a little bit of text in the corner of the screen if you're watching this on uh, YouTube. That is so you can see if I'm responding to something that's coming up in chat. I am streaming this live, uh, probably going to be every Wednesday, uh, over on my Twitch handle. So feel free to leave comments, though. I will be reading them throughout the week. We're going to be playing through this, uh, well, this great RPG by BioWare. This was now, if you've never played this, uh, if you but if you love, say, like the Dragon Age series, uh, this was the game that was the beginning of their move into from isometric to 3D, outside of like Neverwinter Nights, right? This is them taking Star Wars to that area, and then we got, you know, Dragon Age and all that. So, ah, it's so good. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. New game. We can make our soldier, uh, or our character, we can have three choices. We have uh, Scoundrel. Now, I don't remember all of the mechanics of the little details of this. I haven't played this since the original Xbox way back when, like really sat down and played through, so. I'm gonna be kind of re-experiencing it with you guys, which is gonna be fun. Uh, we have three character classes. Now I know the UI is a little weird and everything's really, really small. It's because we're playing with uh, with the only mod, which is the widescreen mod, meaning that the UI is gonna be a little off. It's gonna be a little bit smaller than you would probably like, uh, but it allows us to see it much more clear because uh, the game does not come natively with the 1080p resolution as an option. So we've got uh, the scoundrel, smuggler-like character, skillful rogue that gets by on stealth and guile. Uh, we've got the scout and explorer, most at home on the fringes of space. So I guess that would be more, maybe more of your, um, like this is your rogue class. I guess, I guess, sort of smuggler. I don't know. And then scout is your middle ground. Basically, these are kind of armor classes, right? Uh, and I think you get more skill points immediately into stealth if you go with this one. I, I don't remember what you get with the, with the, does it tell us? I don't think it does. Can we go back? Yes, we can. Uh, I think I'm gonna go male soldier. I think that's the okay character we're gonna play. We're gonna make a character called uh, John Roland, a Republic soldier. Uh, he's years of experience working in the military right before the, the war began, and now uh, he has found himself on the indoor spire. So that's the plan. Uh, what do we want to? Now remember, don't don't comment like, oh, here's the optimum build or how how to play. Like, let's own backseat game. Uh, just so you guys know, especially in the comments section, I know I'm not going to do everything to the 100%, like this is the best way to do things. Uh, we're going to do custom character. Uh, and let's change our face. Whoa. Kind of looks like Kanan, doesn't it? A little bit. Maybe the short hair. Kind of like that one. Oh man, no. No, we're going to go with this one. This was my first character uh, that I remember playing as. I re Yep, yep. That's the one we're going with. Business in the front, party in the back. Things got the mullet thing going on. Attributes, uh, attributes of your character. Now, this is kind of a, a mix of tabletop role playing, uh, uh, very inspired by, say, D and D. Um, remember, they had made uh, the Boulder's Gate series before this in Neverwinter Nights, which was straight out of like the tabletop role playing turned PC game. Uh, so you're gonna see a lot of things in here uh, with like DCs and ACs and you know rolls and. You know, how you successfully do something and how stats interact. You're going to see a lot of that in this game. Uh, the attributes of your character apply bonuses or penalties to everything from combat skill checks to force powers. Uh, force powers. Check each attribute. But I'm a soldier. How does that work? Check each attribute to see what aspect of the gameplay it can affect. Uh, so, physical power, high strength, adds modifier to melee damage and a chance to hit, which is important for characters that use close combat weapons. Uh, dexterity to be our ranged weapons, so we want to go pistols and rifles, uh, melee weapons. In this universe, in this time period, there are uh, vibra blades that have, uh, was it corrosis, I think it's called? It's a weave, a type of metal inside it that's actually dense enough to reflect lightsabers. And so it's far more plentiful in this uh, time period than it is in, say, like it's, it's super rare in the Galactic Civil War era. You're going to run into that. Constitution is going to be our health. Let's go a little tanky. Uh, constitution represents health and resiliency. A high constitution adds modifiers to vitality points uh, gained at each level up. This is important. So I'm thinking that the character's kind of brawly. He's kind of a big dude, um, but maybe a bit charismatic, a little quick-witted. So with the math points, we look at our modifier here. This is what we get a plus two on our rolls when we're doing a saving throw or a check. 
Uh, the mullet will never go out of style, GPU says. I'm, hmm. Indeed. I don't think he's going to be very intelligent, uh, to the point where he may even take the negative modifier. We can't go any lower than this. Uh, you can't go D&D &D style where you can go, like, what is it, minus six and you can't read? <laughs> Something like that? I don't think we can go that low. Um, yeah, I won't let you click anymore. Uh, wisdom, and let's see, intelligence represents the knowledge and reasoning. A high intelligence adds modifiers to the number of points a character has to spend on essential skills. Ooh. Are we going to be really skillful and focus on those skills, or are we going to brute force everything uh, with a bit of extra strength? I'm not thinking super intelligent. I think he gets away more on his wits. So we'll go a little high in charisma, a little high in constitution. It's going to be a weird build. We'll go up to 16, so we get a plus three on our modifier. Uh, I believe we get some more stats as we go. I could be wrong. I don't think these are permanent. I think we do get more points into them. What hero is? A soldier isn't... Skill heavy class, it's more about feats. Hmm. Which one of these gives you are there any that gives you more feats? Wisdom represents willpower and perception. A high wisdom adds modifiers to Jedi force powers and force power saving throws. The force powers of a Jedi with high wisdom are also much harder to resist. So any saving throws that the enemy rolls against us, say we're trying to force choke someone, or we're trying to make them, you know, do the, the Jedi mind trick on them. Uh, this is how you go through with it. Uh Roll and smash. Uh, strength determines if you hit and how much damage you will do, right? So if we go for like melee weapons, um, we'd want to have like a, a probably a 16 in the strength. This is grenade rolls too, dexterity though. Uh, dexterity measures agile, agility and reflexes. High dexterity adds modifiers to range attack rolls, blasters, and increases your character's defense rating, making them harder to hit. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So we could go high dexterity instead of strength. That would. We could actually go dual. So what we could do is we could drop our constitution a bit and be a little bit just harder to hit, a little bit more agile with our dexterity um, as a soldier. Hmm. Trying to build to the character and not to the stats. It's tough, though. Uh, Mando, thank you for the 100 bits. Just put this game on my phone yesterday so I could play it again. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I heard there's like a tablet version of this. Go like lower constitution and be, you can still be a soldier and not have super high constitution. Maybe have a zero modifier and then go high dexterity. And we'll be really, really agile. Um, and there'll be rolls throughout the game that these will cut, like th these will be hit by. So I think there'll be like dexterity rolls where we have to dodge something storyline wise. I'm not sure, I don't really remember, but I don't know, I don't know. I'm... I am watching the modifier because that is how the game is played. I'm not trying to min max. Uh, we could do a bit of a mix drive people crazy. Maybe do a plus one on our constitution and a plus one on our... Uh, you only need one point into that. And then charisma. I like the idea that he's really high in charisma. So... But he's just not very bright. He doesn't have a lot of wisdom. I don't know. Wisdom seems a bit... All right, all right I got it. I got it. I got it. We're not going to go dexterity. We're going to go... He's brawly. That's what we talked about early, earlier, right? He's really... He's, he's, he's strong. He's tough. Um, he's fairly charismatic. But uh, he's wise. He's been fighting. He's been fighting. He's got a lot of combat experience to the point where I'm actually going to take a couple points out of this. He's going to be a little bit more of an all-arounder uh, and not so much uh, like squad leader. This, there we go. He's a Republic squad leader. And so he's got the wisdom, not the intelligence. He can't work out a high-end math problem or, or see all the patterns. But he's got the wisdom to know when he's in, a, in an ambush situation. He knows when he's walked into a trap. He knows when to have the high ground. And I actually didn't mean to say that for as a Star Wars joke. I actually literally meant, like, from a combat perspective. He knows how to deploy his squad kind of thing. All right, let's do that. Um, what do you think? Probably a little bit more strength than that. Maybe get rid of the plus, the minus one. We'll go ten dexterity. Agile, but not, not incredibly so. I like it. I like that. That's pretty good. Nice mix. Okay. Let's do it. So, he's a Republic Sergeant. That's what his, that's what his memories tell him. Uh, what else we got? Uh, wait, did I go too far? Skills. So our skills, are we good with computers? No, I don't think so. Demolitions, that has some, some maybe something to it, though it is an intelligence-based skill. Uh, I think he would have somebody under his command in his squad that would do this. He would just give the order to do so. Stealth, 
Uh, it's a dexterity-based skill. We can stealth around. I don't remember ever using stealth in my first playthrough. I don't know how, how viable it is. We will have other characters in our party, though, so we will be able to experience a lot of these skills as we play. Uh, probably gonna go with Persuade, as he, he, he wants to talk his way out of situations when he can, right? He's a charismatic leader. So, we'll do a point into Persuade. Repair allows a character to fix. That's another intelligence skill. Wisdom skill, awareness. Awareness makes sense, like we were discussing about having uh, that battlefield presence. Awareness governs the ability of a character to spot objects or enemies hidden by stealth. If a successful check of skill is made against stealth characters, uh, the enemy or object is noticed. Ooh, I wonder if this will like, reveal um, hidden, not just traps, but maybe doorways and stuff. That could be cool. This guy's going to be the most suave idiot in the galaxy, <laughs> Arctic says. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, treat injury is a wisdom skill. Really, it's a wisdom skill? He knows how to use a med pack. We'll call this, we'll, we'll put a point into this. Um, and we'll call this skill, now nah, screw it. Okay, we'll have to do one other one. That's a cross class skill, it's more expensive. Is this one? No, this is a class skill, sweet. So what is our class skills? Cross, class skill demolitions, but we're not using intelligence. Cross, uh, awareness, we did take. All right, treat injury. Uh, he's got background in, in in basic field training. So he's got those those basic field medic skills. Basic ones. And we probably won't upgrade this too much. Cool. I'm kind of curious what they recommend, but we'll continue on from here. Uh, feats. Some feats allow you to use special items like heavy armor or implants. Other feats modify saving throws and skills. Hmm. Uh, during the game, some feats power attack are used during combat. All right, so let's check them out. We start off, because we're a soldier, we get heavy armor. Oh, yeah, that's right. We can use the heavy armor. Um, I think there may even be, like, the old school uh, Mandalorian armor in this and things like that. So we get all the armors we can use. We do get power attack right away, blast attack with blasters. We get proficiencies in just about every kind of weapon because we're a soldier. Um, but we don't get any of the cool, like, stealth skills or anything like that. And apparently we don't get snipe, either. Uh, let's see, what is this? Proficiency with melee weapons. Adds a plus one attack bonus to melee weapons. Uh, da, da, da. What should we go for here? Conditioning. This feat provides a plus one bonus to all saving throws, reflect, uh, reflecting the character's excellent physical condition. That's actually pretty on point. Oh. And treat injury. That's our one. All right, so we have empathy. Maybe. Suave? What do you guys think as the character goes? We got uh, two-handed weapon fighting style. No, he's not going to go with that. If anything, he's going to go with a rifle starting out, right? His his main primary weapon that he takes into the field with him, right? This is his. This is his A280 or whatever the, the, the Old Republic version of that is. Joe, thank you for becoming a Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate it. Uh, let's go with... Gearhead? That's computer use. We're not doing that. Flurry of blows. Character steps a negative four to defense while... Eh, but he gets an extra attack. No. Conditioning makes probably the most sense. He's a dumbass handsome Jack. <laughs> uh, implants? No, we're not going to go to implants. The feat allows you to use level one cybernetic implants. They can be purchased throughout the galaxy and have a variety of effects, modifying attack rolls, attribute scores. Only one implant may be used at a time. Scouts get this feat for free. Oh, that's cool. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Unless we wanna go, for if this feat gives Kishu one extra vitality point every time they level, oof. Single-handed weapons. So there's your, there's your smuggler pistol feat right there. What's, what's Sniper Shot do? I remember using this a lot. This feat doubles the critical threat range of ranged attacks. If a weapon needs a roll of a 20, oh, so this allows you to roll a 19 or a 20. You're rolling a d20, a 20-sided dice, basically. Uh, this means instead of only rolling a 20 to get crits, now you'll have to roll a 19 or a 20. If the attack hits the target, it is stunned for six seconds. Wow. Uh, and this is like a passive one, I think. Uh, six seconds unless they make a fortify saving throws the DC of the character's level plus attack and character's intelligence modifier 
His feet lower his defense by minus five when used. Ah. Okay, so it's gonna lower your defense when using it, so you're gonna take more damage. What about rapid shot? Now, let's go for toughness. That's extra health for us. I said we we're gonna go a little tanky. We'll go with toughness starting out. Uh, a little bit tanky. We're gonna go with our name. And then I think we might take on uh, the one that was uh, talking people into stuff, maybe. John Roland. Sergeant Roland, we need you, wake up. All right, here we go. There's our character. If you want to follow along at home, if you're playing this as well, uh, we're playing a soldier named John Roland. There's all of our stats, 13 health, 10 armor starting out. Uh, let's go. Apologize if the audio is a little all over the place. I don't know how long cutscenes are gonna be. And this music will probably be replaced uh, in the actual YouTube video. <clears throat> this one right here. Means my audio will have to be replaced too because they're all in one track right now. Reed, thank you for the Twitch Prime for 12 months. Woohoo! What is this fancy one year badge? You have the Armco Officer badge. Knights of the Old Republic. For thousands of years before the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Republic verges on collapse. Darth Malak, last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord Revan, has unleashed an invincible Sith Armada upon the unsuspecting galaxy. Crushing all resistance, Malak's war of conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable as countless knights fall in battle and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. In the skies above the Outer Rim world of Taurus, a Jedi battle fleet engaged the forces of Darth Malak in a desperate effort to halt the Sith's galactic domination. The war's not going well. No Q monster, I'm not just gonna hum the music. What? What's going on here? We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. All right. Uh, uh, who are you? What? Endar Spire? Did you fall out of your bunk and hit your head? The Endar Spire is the ship we're stationed on. This ship. Yeah, you I probably, probably did. You don't even know who I am, do you? I'm Tras Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up. We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. All right, then who's Bastila? I like that we've got this ensign. Bastila is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Joining with us. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Oh, I'm a Republic, Republic soldier, so you damn right I saw an Let's do this. Now, I... combat training tops in your class. It's no wonder you were handpicked for this mission. Oh, Where it cool. is, the officers haven't seen a recruit with your kind of potential in 20 years. But all that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't deliver when it counts. We're soldiers. We're trained for combat. Bastille is going to need men and women like us at her side during this attack. Well, then, all right, let's go. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can... All right. Let me get my gear out of the bin. So this is how the UI is going to look as I grab my stuff. You guys will actually be able to see it's going to pop up on the bottom there. Get all the items. Uh, we, you can see the blaster fire outside the Indar Spire. Oh man, this intro always blew me away back in the day. Let's get our stuff on. Uh, and we click here, clothing. Yep. It's going through the tutorial right now. These pop-ups will stop. And I will talk a little bit about some of the menu stuff. There's our blaster rifle. Uh, is there any other gear that we might have? All we have is our armor and clothing. 
So, looking good. What's our what's our clothing actually stat-wise? Or is there stats for it? Uh, plus one damage to hit, plus... All right, there's our stats. Cool. Oh, yeah. I love it. The armor doesn't look half bad. I dig it. All right, we're good to go. Okay, Come on, let's Ensign. move out. We should stick together. Join the party. So now he's part of our party. We can actually choose out of all the characters who's going to join us and who's not. I don't believe he's this dude's too much. Because of the attack, no, this no room is here. in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override. Oh, if I don't remember that well, joke. I tell you. Right, all right, let's go ahead and get the door open. Uh, oh, I'll need him to do it. So I can hit tab. I am playing this on PC, so keyboard and mouse. I'm playing the GOG version. It does seem to be running a bit better. So come here, open the door. He's got the key. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. Cool. Tab to switch back and forth. Sure. So you can play all of the characters. What? what? Uh, WHC didn't move around. This is Carson Nash. Failing it out. Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge. That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire. All right, let's move out. We got our map now that we can open up. Easy enough. We can see what the map, the area looks like. I know the UI is a little bit small. It's kind of how we got to deal with it. Hello, droid. Let's roll. That door is locked. Okay. He's going to be able to pick the lock for us since we don't have that skill. We don't know how to do it, but he does. Go ahead and pop it open. It's weird that the uh, the Jedi don't have ranks in this. This must be the advanced boarding party. He talked about Basta. He's like, well, she's, she's not really in charge. It's like, well, okay. I guess unlike the Clone Wars. Uh, so the game is real-time or turn-based. It's basically turn-based. Like, everything has a cooldown on it. Uh, you can select your targets by clicking on them, and we can select through all of our attacks. Looks like we have normal attack, and then we have power attack. So we'll go ahead and do a power attack, because we don't have anything cool like grenades right now. We can switch characters. We can unpause while my character puts some rounds down range. He needs to stop because he's being goofy and he's running in like an idiot. Uh, I yes. think his skills... He just pulled his weapon. Did he just run up and shoot that guy in the face? What, what are you doing? Okay, we need to talk. <laughs> Get some loot. Nice. Nades. I'm really actually taking the character look. The starting soldier armor is pretty cool looking. Dun, dun, dun. This came out in, I think, 2003. Oh, hi, guys. Uh, I won't use our grenade. I think we can take these guys out, no problem. You, I want you to just normal attack. I'll let click a selected enemy once to go in combat mode. It's fine. It doesn't actually tell you the stats, does it? Remember, left click only wants to target someone. Let's see if he actually will stop and attack yeah. running in. There he goes. Nice. See their health bar is going down there. So everything is a, is, a, is a D20 attack roll every time we do an attack. It's very tabletop RPG. Um, something that uh, Swotor kind of misses out on, to be honest. I kind of like that. Gear in here, what do we got? Uh, we got a couple of swords. We got a combat suit. Get items. That combat suit, is that, um, is it Betor? That'll bring our armor up to 14. You're gonna look dumb though, aren't you? Please don't look dumb. And if I hit tab, I can actually switch through to our other characters. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna send you in with a blade, I think. You're gonna get a short sword. You, can you do a wield? You can do a wield. All right, there you go. Get in there. I need you to be my distraction. Sure. So that's my new, my new clothes. I'll be honest, I kind of like the backpack better. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Republic forces are fighting in the hallways. Shoot the guy with the sword running at you. Well, that guy does not give a crap about his allies. I don't think there's friendly fire for our own party. I think we can just go ham. All right, now we can move around. Uh, we can get a better range if we want to. I don't think we can shoot from here. Let's do a power blast. To open it up. Okay, we did miss. We can unpause. And no, I don't seem to be able to move. I can move him, though. Yeah, I can move. There we go. Am I getting wrecked right now? Power blast. I don't know what our help is. At. So, there are an acre of you fellas, so why don't we do this? 
throw a grenade. Oh, they haven't taught us about health yet, so maybe I don't have a health bar. Switch targets. Yeah, I don't think they've taught us about, like, here's how to use a med bag. Oh, man, it still doesn't look that bad. It really doesn't. I can hear fighting over here, but I wanna grab that loot, so let's go back and grab that loot. I'm sure they'll be fine. It sounds like lightsaber blast blows. There's a med pack for us. Dun, dun, dun. Get items. What? Because right now, I may, there may be just some goofiness going on with our uh, with our UI, but like he's hurt. I have to be hurt. Sure. We don't have our health bars. <laughs> like, what is my... I don't I wonder if there's like a menu option in here. There we go. I'm 10 out of 14. Okay, that's... It's gonna make it very... He's got 36 health? What level are you? What? Okay, that's fine. Let's go talk to this droid. Excuse me. Go, go, go. Oh. Dude. There are parts. Can I fix you? Can't fix him. Can't go through this door either. All right. We're going through the middle. Let's roll. It's Dark Jedi. This fight is too much for us. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. The battle animations still look amazing. Because they actually connect and react to each other. The synced animations where they do the dodges and stuff. And then the ship kills her. That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. Well, uh, <laughs> hey, we should probably kill these two idiots. Get off my ship. Uh, you know. I'm switching you back. Sending you in just feels, feels a little silly at the moment. I know it's a Vibroblade, and there's a thing in this where like Vibroblades I think go through shields too, but you're gonna use your pistol. We're gonna focus our fire. We're both gonna do Power Blast to open up. Yes. Let's do this. Do another Power Blast on this guy. He did like four damage to me. I'm gonna try to keep up with it. So far, just dropping. Just do a normal attack. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. And we'll get other special attacks and stuff as we go on. Uh, special abilities that we'll be able to do, and different character classes that can do other things. So, you know, uh, and battle meditation, stuff like that. Makes it a little bit more tactical. Uh, adrenaline s strength. What are you? Vibration cell? An upgrade for a melee weapon. We got some spare parts for repairing stuff. That's right. Okay, let's roll on. It's, it's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, what? you know what? You've got like three times the health as me, so why don't you open the door? The bridge is just beyond that door. You better equip your melee weapon. There isn't much room on the bridge, and it's suicide to use a blaster in close quarters. I should equip a melee weapon too. Either that, or I'll have to stay back and use my blaster. Okay, I got it. I understand how those work. Uh, and we do know why the melee weapons will work. Go ahead, open the door. Oh my god, you're gonna make me do it. Okay, fine. I'll put a, I'll, I'll equip a sword. We'll go with the long sword. Put down our rifle. <laughs> all right, all right. You made me do this. We'll be fighting in close. You need, to, you need to get out of the way, bud. What? Let's do it. Power attack on this guy. And you, go ahead and give me some cover fire. Blast shot. What? Since you're not taking any damage anyway, so you don't have to worry about your defense. Just got a critical hit, it looked like. Oh, the is not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pod. We better head that way too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting All hands the dark ship. Into galactic dust. The Jedi has escaped, or is at least attempting to escape. Uh, oh no, I can't move. So one of the bugs with this on PC is, and we're gonna go ahead and do a save and do a quick reload. F4, F5 to do that. Four to uh, save, five to reload. My character wouldn't move anymore. Uh, that was the level up sound. That's what that sound is. Uh, how are we doing on health? Six out of 14. Yeah, no, the AI's being derpy. I can't see any of my, um, I can't see my health. There should be like a bar of things that we can use just to, uh, Something has gone awry. Can't still use it in the menu, though. I will fix that for next time, so grab some more of these. 
as we're hurtling toward the planet's surface and the Sith fighters are flying all around us right now. Um, they're holding back on their primary weapons due to the Jedi still being on board and they want her alive. Ah, okay, so they do want me to level up. We'll do that right now. I'm guessing that's in here. Auto level or level up? We'll do the level up ourselves. Looks like we gained a new skill point. What do we want to put it into? I'm thinking persuade. Oh, I can't because it's a cross class. Ooh, it's cross class skill, meaning it's going to take two points instead of one to pick up. Awareness is not, or treat injury. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with awareness to see if we notice anything hidden in the game as we play through. Uh, what do we want to pick up? What do you recommend? You're recommending a rapid shot. Really? Hmm. Yeah, it's recommending rapid. It allows the character to make an extra ranged attack during the round, but suffer a defense penalty. That's not bad. I don't think I have the points to go for like another level of toughness. Okay, go back, feet, one point. So, I guess it kind of makes sense for the character, and it gives us another option. Because this ability right here is what we've been using. Blast adds plus five damage to the next attack, but also um, minus three to the hit. So you charge up, the weapon's going like an overload mode, and then you fire, and you, you may hit or may not. You can do more damage if you do, but you're gonna kill your accuracy. Uh, this gives you an extra whole attack, uh, extra range attack. Let's do it. Because the other option was gonna be Empathy. Actually, let's do that. We're gonna do empathy. I like the idea that he's super suave, and that's gonna bonus us up to swap to extra suaveness. Uh, all right, we have leveled up. I hope you're happy. Let's get to the escape pods. Oh, damn, a ship explodes. There's something behind here. Damn, another dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go! Uh, Ensign, I don't think that's gonna work out for you. And the doors immediately lock themselves behind, so he could just... Never mind. Your sacrifice, Ensign, will uh, not, be, not be forgotten. Uh, but the direction I need to go is already forgotten. To the escape pods. Go, go, go. This is Karth Onassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. No, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. All right, time to get out of here. We've got one hostile down there. Let me move, and you know what? Before we get into this fight, he doesn't actually see us. Let's swap out to our blaster rifle. All is right in the world mini blaster rifles, but this one is mine. I, I think there's like a ranged fire. Missed. Crap. Oh, I didn't take the extra. We can't hit shit. Here. Have a grenade. <laughs> there. <laughs> How many times am I going to miss him? Uh, that door is blasted, obviously. Let's go down this way. Can you shoot doors? No. Uh, normal attack. Normal attack. We're on our own here. And our accuracy is awful. Because our dexterity is kind of low. But if you guys want to talk about this, I'm really good at that. They aren't hitting me either. I just took two damage. I right, skip a power blast. Boom. Now I bet if I had stealth, I could have stealthed in here. Oh, no, you have like an item to stealth. Be careful. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. Probably my you could already. reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire's security systems against the Sith. Yeah, I mean, you're you're telling me these things, but I don't really, I don't, uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Karth. I, uh, do I look like a mechanic? You only had all these things that are in here. 
So we could we could slice or we could robot. Let's see if we can get the, ro the droid working. Uh, repair droid to terrier. Let's go do it. Uh, more complicated repairs required. More repair parts. Reactivate the droid. Four parts to do it. Uh, patrol mode. Four parts. Let's do that. I think it'll let me do it anyways, even though my skill's crap. You do get experience. All right, he's on patrol mode. Good luck, buddy. I'll be over here watching. He actually looks really cool. I want to see somebody cosplay that. Oh, shit. There's like a proper Sith over there. All right, I'm coming in to help you. And by help you, I mean throw a grenade at that um, heavy Sith trooper over there. Here I go. Can I keep you? Can you be my best friend? <laughs> oh, I like teleported. I don't know if you guys can hear his footsteps, but yeah. There is something to be you said for having a high skill time. character. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. Uh, who are you? I'm a soldier with Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endor Spire. Basilisk is getting up for me. Let's get out of here. So there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on. There'll be time for questions later. All hands to the escape pods. 250 experience for us. Hopefully, we're getting close to leveling up. Where's our exit point? There it is. Let's go. Use the escape pod. Don't wait around. <laughs> a dream. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? Oh, man. I had a uh, crazy dream, but where are we? How'd I get here? You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about the Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Is it the Sith? Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet. They've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. Spots. We'll balance the audio in a second, guys. Sorry about understand this. understand a remarkable number of alien languages. It's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're going to find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. So we're stranded on a Sith-controlled world that's currently being blockaded by the fleet. And you want us to find this Bastila. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endar Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. How can one person, even a Jedi, be that important to the war effort? Basila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Basila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Basila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do, but from what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. 
The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. Yeah, but doesn't the battle meditation require, like you just said, it can affect an entire army. It doesn't make up for an army. We had, what, one ship in the fleet up there? Maybe there was a whole fleet. I, 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 my memory is really crap right now. But for what I remember, it was just the Endar Spire, the beautiful hammerhead cruiser that got blown out of the sky. Uh, all right, so what do you suggest we do next, then? Bastila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us. If we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Basil's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help, and we'll probably need hers. All right then. It means getting off this planet. I guess I can help you find. No, that's not good. Let's do. Uh... Hmm. Any idea where we should start looking for her, then? While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. So a few of the crew the may have survived. Basil's got to be one of them. I don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. All right, come on. I want to scout this planet out a bit. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. for some grim stories about the hey. Jedi interrogation. Hey, I am nothing if not subtle. Terrible things to Wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Then we got our we got our objective, our new journal entry. Uh, I wonder if anybody will mind if I've got my rifle. I think. Let me see if this is the case. Ah, uh, it only works with melee weapons. So with melee weapons, you can do like a flourish and spin them around. You can't do that with your rifle, apparently. Uh, we got a weapons locker there. We got a weapon workbench. We can fix up our, our armor and weapons and get some modifications in there. Uh, it's a pretty sparse abandoned apartment. I love that you can see out there, though. First time I saw this place, I was like, what in this Coruscant are we at? But, is there anything else that we want to equip before we go? I know I forgot to loot the stuff back there. Oh, oh. Anyways. Uh, how's our health and everything? Looking good. We get all our health back. Excellent. And we got more health because we've leveled up. So, let's do a little bit of rebalancing. I apologize for the sound being a little off. Um, we're going to do voiceover lines all the way up and see if that helps out. We need to be able to hear what they're saying. Because uh, the dialogue in this is freaking awesome. Even Karth. Even you, Karth. I know a lot of people don't like you. I like you, Karth. I think uh, our playthrough, it's going to make sense that I talk to you quite a bit. But, let's go scout this place out. I love that I've got this big-ass rifle. Let's see if anybody says anything. It's very subtle. Every time you leave the apartment, you must select part members you wish to take on. It's your first time, you'll have to take Karth. No choice. He is super light side. Look at that. The the background. And actually how you hold yourself, I believe, and how your uh, your face looks represents how light or dark side you may be. So. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. <laughs> There's a patrol here just yesterday. They found nothing. Why do you Sith keep bothering us? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he just shot him. That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! That's a huge assumption, dude. We just moved into the neighborhood. The rent was, you know, cheaper. You're a jerk. That's it. I am going to switch over to the Viber Blade. We're going to bust this out. One, running around with a high-end blaster rifle seems a little silly. He says high-end. Uh, so we'll go with a single blade. Close range. Uh, Karth, what are you rocking right now? Just clothing. All right. Well, there you go, Karth. Uh, you are joining this fight, by the way. Let's take out their leader. Didn't even have a chance to talk to him. Don't tell me I'm not going to be able to, like, talk people down. I'm saving the grenade. Yes, Let's do it, yeah. Karth. Eat by bro. I just cut that dude in half. Hey! Sith prick, come here. 
Poor Ixgil. You should never have talked back to that Sith. Thankfully, you were here to step in and help us, human. This isn't the first time the Sith have come in here and caused trouble for us, but hopefully it'll be the last. Yeah, I'm sure killing one of their officers will totally make them ignore you. Won't somebody come searching for this patrol? Don't worry about the bodies. I'll move them so it looks like they were killed. Ah, he actually says something about this. Ah, that should show that. Uh, throw the Sith off our track. Game starts with just a little bit of murder. With any luck, they won't be bothering us again for a while. Yeah, well, let me just pat him down for his wallet real quick. There's a backpack here. Uh, blast rifle, fire grenade, poison grenade. I'll take these. Yeah, buddy. Thanks again, human. As I said earlier, don't worry about the bodies. I'll take care of them. You got it. You look jacked up, though. He's actually almost dead. Can we do the thing? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Low security door. We could open this. Let's tuck the alarm before we open the door. Well, I don't see too many of your kind around here. Most of the residents in this rundown old apartment are illegal aliens. My name's Alarm, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Uh, my name's John, John Rowland. I know it's really none of my business, but you look like someone who might need to purchase one of those new energy shields. They're the latest thing, you know, very high tech. If I'm gonna keep using the blade because it seems strength and, and I'm more accurate with it, uh, I, actually an energy shield would be pretty good. Uh, Tell me about the shields, because I don't really remember. I think they block energy weapons. Uh, when you use one, it surrounds you with a radiant aura particle mesh that absorbs blaster bolts. It's pretty handy to fight. The shield protects you against lightsabers. Uh, it can even protect against lightsabers. Right? So anything with an energy-based system. The shields aren't perfect, of course. They can only absorb so much energy damage before they burn out, and ion blasters will take the basic dueling shield down pretty quickly. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. That's why you're going to see so many people with swords in this, because the shields become so much more prevalent. Um, and for whatever reason, later in the universe, the, the resources to make these. Um, and the technology just kind of fades through time. Uh, radiant particle meshes are actually used for, I think, the cloaking devices as well. Um, in this game, I'm not sure if that's how they describe it, but I know in the later. Uh, a thousand years from now. So... Uh, where did all this tech come from? I've heard rumors of the Johnny using shields like this, but I never saw anything like them around here, not until the Sith came, where they discovered a technology as anybody's guess. So the Sith Empire brought these. The shields are too rare and too expensive to hand out to an entire army, but a shielded strike team can take out a whole battalion of soldiers armed with conventional blasters. I gave the Sith a huge edge in battle in the early battles, but it wasn't long before the Republic was able to copy the technology and come up with energy shields of their own. Now, both sides are scrambling to come up with new weapons to slice right through the shield, but until the, uh, they do, you're going to see me like Comet coming back to the forefront of this war. Interesting. All right. Anything else? Uh, not much more to say, really, except that I've managed to get my hands on one of those shields. It isn't cheap, but it could mean the difference between life and death. You want to see what I have in stock? I know my kiosk isn't much to look at, but my price is a reason why the merchandise is sound. Uh, let's see what you've got for sale. How much are we talking about? A military heavy combat suit. Or a military suit. Defense bonus is six medium armor. This one is five light armor. Four. Ooh. Oh, you don't say. It's only light though, but it does give a bonus of five. Dexterity bonus of four. Hmm. There's a fancy. There's a quarter staff. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. Well, what would be? What, what's the point of using this? You get twenty by twenty times two critical. Okay, so it's two times the damage. I think. Uh, usually just a smooth staff of wood or light alloy. This simple, very weapon of ancient design. That's kind of cool. Little ion blasters for taking out shields, concussion grenades. There's the energy shield. And the self generators. So, energy shield, 154. All right, well, I can sell you a few things. Why don't you take some of this old clothing off me? I don't want to carry it around anymore. Uh, and take the stamina from me. And I think I'll keep the grenades, but I will give you a blaster rifle. Uh, this item is worth more than 100 credits. Do you still wish to sell? 
Oh, you don't have the cash to sell this. Take one of those. I have a long sword and a vibro sword. Hmm. Vibro blade. All right. I think long sword's just a long sword. I don't think it's a vibro blade. So good enough for now. We do have a little bit of credits, but I think I'm gonna wait. We won't buy anything just yet. Uh, double, yes. Double check our health real quick because we can't see it. We're fine. We didn't take any damage from that. Uh, I'm really curious what's in here. Hey, Karth, uh, you, you're what? not half decent at like you are. Sweet. On it. Sure. It's open. What do you got? Oh. Hey. Hey there. Um, I'm gonna talk to him. Hey, dear. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. Uh, oh, sorry. I was just investigating the area. My bad. I was looking for something to steal. That's no <laughs> excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig, Holden. Holden? Who's that? Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I love that she's totally cool. I just broke into this place and she just gave me a light scolding. Uh, what do you mean? I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Ah, oh, persuade. Come on, you can trust me. Maybe I can help. Well, I suppose you Success. seem like an all right sort. When I Come cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. A bounty, you say? Hmm. Is there anything I can do to help out? I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. Well, maybe I could speak to Holden for you. You could try, I guess. Talk to he a usually hut. hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. All right. Well, well, goodbye and good luck. Trying to help you can out. Talk some sense into Holden. Enter laundry added. Sweet. I like to spore a little bit. There's like a fog of war as we run around. We'll be able to see more and more of the map. Looks like this is a big circle. Main destroyed. Hi. I absolutely agree with everything you just said. You also look really cool. Oh, I don't know, Thorian. Hey, man. Sorry, human, but I do not wish to engage in conversation with you. Residents of this complex prefer to keep to themselves. This is another door. Should we open it? Maybe we shouldn't break into every place we run into. Let's leave. <laughs> oh, I thought a Quarian, right? Hey. Uh, I Had I known of the Tarregian attitudes toward aliens, I never would have come to visit this world. Now I'm stuck here. Yeah, because of the Sith, I'm assuming. Uh, there's a Twi'lek over here, it looks like. Let's go talk to this Twi'lek. Hey! How's it going? Hate this world. Bullshit. I'm an alien. I don't like it. Uh, that's fair. Oh my god, lady. It's fine. It's fine. Where's the, where's our, where's our exit? Come on, Karth. Let's go. Uh, do we just go what? in a circle? Sure. Oh, there's a guy over here we haven't talked to. The janitor. Oh, man, look at the city. Uh... Uh, hey there, what, well, what, what, we are walking, I just clean those floors. Oh, my bad. Uh, who are you? Sorry, I didn't know. Well, all right then, no hard feelings. My name's Kadir, I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Never thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Hmm, you look like an off-worlder. What happened? You yeah, you can say I just dropped in. the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Don't know how much I can tell you, but Some seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. Uh, well, hmm. Tell me a little bit about the city, Taurus. I'm curious. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City, and you'll be fine. You also might want to check out below. the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in the upper city. All right. Well, 
Uh, where's the cantina? Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets near them. And from there, like looking over at car south drink. You can't drink. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go. Get back to work anyway. Sorry, I walked on your floor. I'm here most of the time. The building doesn't clean itself, you know. And it that makes sense. Okay, we went all the way around and now we're back to the apartment door again. So uh let's look at our map. We have the upper city. Uh no, two upper cities, so let's keep going around and then to the right. We're not gonna break into these places. Pub? Pub. Exactly. Uh, nope, wrong door. If, if you're wondering, I think it's gonna be this Republic soldier's journey. It's gonna be mostly light side. We'll, we'll see. He may take a couple of dark side choices when it comes to like, you know, getting the mission accomplished. But that's kind of the fun of the RPG. So, all right, we're outside. Get to see the actual cityscape. We're running around with a giant knife. Nobody seems to mind though. So, cool beans. Uh, let's go and find ourselves a cantina. 